Here's why we're all gathered today. The newest major investment in our state is one that's going to create even more opportunities for our people. I'm proud to announce that IBM, one of the world's most successful and innovative businesses, will open a major technology center right here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. <laughs> IBM's new facility will be called IBM Services Center Baton Rouge, and it will create 800 professional jobs in software development, application management, and systems integration for its clients in the United States. 800 direct jobs right here in Baton Rouge. IBM's new center will employ a broad range of college graduates and experienced professionals with backgrounds in computer science and other quantitative intense fields such as engineering, mathematics, and science. This project and these jobs will place Louisiana on the cutting edge of innovation with Baton Rouge serving as a nexus for major business projects in big data, cloud-based computing, and mobile applications. LSU estimates this IBM project, in addition to the 800 direct jobs, will also result in 542 new indirect jobs for a total of more than 1,300 new jobs in the capital region. The state will be providing $14 million in funding over the next 10 years for expanded higher education programs designed to increase the number of computer science graduates in the Baton Rouge area. And you're going to hear from the folks at LSU, but the bulk of those funds will be provided to expand LSU's computer science program, which will enable the school to roughly triple its annual graduates in three to five years. The College of Engineering Dean, and he's going to talk to this, and he was a key part of making this project happen, expects that this expansion will enable LSU to become one of the top 15 computer science programs in the country in the terms of annual graduates. This investment is a big win for LSU, Baton Rouge, and our entire state. It means we can make sure our students can find good paying jobs right here at home. No longer will our kids have to go to Texas or Georgia to find those jobs. Our students are now competing with their peers from all over the world to find jobs in the 21st century workforce. In order to make sure our students compete and win, we must make sure they have the very best training and skills in the world, especially in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This partnership accomplishes that goal. We are investing in our students and workers so that America can continue to have the most skilled workforce in the world. LSU has got a great history when it comes to its computer science department, engineering department. It's got an even brighter future. I want you to think about it. one of the top 10, 15 country uh, programs in the country in terms of producing graduates. That's a phenomenal, phenomenally bright future for LSU and for our state. There's another, a third and final component of this project. And the final component of this project is a central element of the public-private partnership involved in securing the IBM Center is the construction of a mixed-use riverfront real estate development that will be developed by Commercial Properties Realty Trust, a real estate investment trust that manages and develops property holdings of the Baton Rouge Area Foundation. Designed to create an attractive home for IBM while also accelerating downtown development, the complex will include an office building that will house IBM, as well as a separate 11-story residential building with 95 Riverview apartments. As we look at the big picture of the announcement we're making today, we're bringing one of the largest, most successful, most innovative companies on the planet to create a first-of-its-kind software development center in, in Baton Rouge. The Baton Rouge Area Foundation, the City of Baton Rouge, LSU are joining the state in crafting a unique, outstanding public-private partnership that will result in more than 1,300 new jobs in the Baton Rouge area. This historic partnership will help drive major economic activity and extraordinary professional and student achievement. Today's announcement marks a new era for engineering and computer science education at Louisiana State University, one in which LSU and IBM can work together to build a vibrant Louisiana. In October, the governor announced a $100 million public-private partnership to renovate and expand Patrick F. Taylor Hall, our cornerstone engineering facility. Now, with this commitment to hire additional faculty and recruit new students, LSU's College of Engineering is positioned to be a strategic partner with industry and government to build a new Louisiana economy. Already, our enrollment has grown 41% in the last four years, and we anticipate fall admissions to rise another 10%, making LSU's College of Engineering one of the largest academic colleges in Louisiana. But building upon that growth, we have committed to double the number of faculty in computer science and triple the number of computer science graduates in the next three to five years to make the School of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science one of the premier programs in the nation. 
IBM is renowned in the academic community as a global leader in innovation, and we look forward to partnering on research and development to help us all achieve IBM's grand vision of a smarter planet. Through this partnership, we are committed to fostering relationships that specifically and purposefully prepares our graduates to meet IBM's workforce needs and leverages the capabilities of our faculty to assist IBM in their research endeavors. Today heralds a new era for our graduates at LSU who now have the opportunity to work for the recognized global leader in innovation right here in Baton Rouge. On behalf of LSU, thank you Colleen and IBM for allowing us to join you in driving Louisiana's next digital economy. Thank you. Thank you.